Many Ugandans like spending their free time eating pork. A tour around trading centers around the country can attest to this. Three years ago, a study by the International Livestock Research Institute showed that Ugandans eat an average of 3.4 kilos of pork every year and pig farmers are reaping big. There are two ways of venturing into the piggery business, pig breeding and pig farming. We we'll start off by taking a look at pig breeding. Israel Mchibi is a farmer at one piggery farm in Waxo district. He opted to go for pig breeding and has no regrets. Breeding compared uh, to pokers uh, at two and a half months, I can sell my piglet at 150,000 before it even starts eating the food I'm purchasing, I'm able to sell it to another farmer. He's very keen on taking measures to protect his animals against diseases at his farm. Few people allowed access, and whoever makes it here is sprayed with a disinfectant. Unlike many other piggery farmers, this one is well kept, and one hardly gets that creek smell of manure mixed with waste matter. Then we have uh, the piglet management. Uh, that is from birth to winning. Muchibi started the business in 2013 with only 10 pigs, but he now owns more than 250 pigs. Uh, we began with construction of uh, the other shed, the first shed, in 2010. Then operations began in 2013. That's when we started with the 10 sows and uh, three boars. The style of his pig shelter is unique. He says the size ought to be 3 by 3 meters. He adds that the roof should be rainproof and its eye side has to face towards the direction of the sun. Constructing a pig house or shelter, you have to consider the slope, that there is a slope for easy flow of water when cleaning it or the urine from the piglets and pigs. The availability of water source is very crucial in the piggery business, especially for maintaining hygiene. Also improvise that there is constant flow of water because pigs need water especially uh, during the dry season when it's hot they really need the water. Muchivi advises farmers to carry out research about the type and quality of breed before they are stocking feeds. He discourages farmers who want to go commercial again starting out with piglets below two months. At Buanuka farm we started using the pig nipple, nipple drinkers whereby this helps uh, reduce on uh, the work at the farm. Now, like you see, I need two employees within the piggery section because water is always there. When the pig needs water, it just taps on the nipple. The worker doesn't have to collect water from a source and put in, yeah. Many farmers complain about the difficulties they face in feeding their pigs, which he offered some solutions. This helps uh, whoever is beginning farming, the piggery farming, to reduce on the costs. Many farmers in Uganda know maize brand is so expensive. Yes, it's expensive, but there are other alternatives, like bikanja from the brewery. That's a malt. It's a waste product from beer. Then uh, we have the maize brand mixed with other ingredients like fish, cotton, uh, soya, uh, red salt. Then uh, we have uh, silage. Silage is prepared from uh, uh, sweet potato vines. It's chopped into pieces, then uh, kept in a, a container or a polythene bag, airtight bag then kept under the ground for 45 days. Although many pig farmers feed their pigs with leftovers, he discourages it, saying that it's dangerous. From my restaurants, you know, that, is, that is dangerous. You know those leftovers, there is uh, meat from other animals. You don't know why they've slaughtered that animal for food. So it could be carrying diseases. So feeding it to your pigs is dangerous. You could lose everything. Vaccination and the provision of vitamins to the pigs is very important to avoid diseases. When it comes to marketing, the farmers at Wanuka uses social media to connect with customers. Uh, I'm on some groups, uh, piggery farmers groups on WhatsApp, then even Facebook. 
Now, convincing a client to come and purchase the product from here is a bit difficult. Then for clients who are up country, say uh, Gulu, they'll see your products, the products you have, they really want them, but now the problem is coming to the farm. Muchib says that the pig farming business could provide quick returns since one can achieve the marketable weight of fattening pigs within a period of six to eight months. And I'd, I've, I advise farmers who are starting to visit farms, different farms, to pick a leaf from each farm they visit. Muchib says the pig farming business could provide quick returns since one can achieve the marketable weight of fattening pigs within a period of six to eight months. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.